movement in earth form involves the musculature of body wall and setae the worm's body undergoes extension anchoring and contraction during the course of its progression a wave of contraction affecting circular muscles begins at the anterior end and travels posteriorly these cause the body to become thinner and longer this is followed by another wave of contraction affecting of body this is again followed by the wave of thinning and the process is repeated alternately each wave of circular contraction causes the segments affected to move forward but the segment is a setae of longitudinal contraction does not move as they are anchored to the ground by the protruded setae setae always project out during circular contraction it has been calculated that by this method the earthworm travel a distance of about 25 cm to 30 cm in a minute when the direction of waves is reversed the worm crawls backwards during locomotion silomic fluid serves as a kind of hydraulic skeleton or hydrostatic skeleton when compressed due to contraction of circular muscle it provides stiffness to body and aids in relaxation of longitudinal muscle